One of the Chinese battery companies that we rarely hear anything about, but we should, is called CALB. CALB have a brand new battery technology that they say has a significant performance gain over traditional cylindrical cells, saying its new U-type cells have 50% more energy density than a Tesla 4680 cell. Is this true? Well, no, it's not actually. But what are the details? Here's what they are. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Thank you for tuning in. It's great to see you. Thanks to all of you for subscribing. At this moment, in at this year, actually, it's been an insane year for me. So you having your support has been amazing. Now, this new battery does have industry-leading energy density. That is true. If it has the energy density that CALB say it does, then yes, it is one of the most energy density batteries, batteries ever created. But if they can mass produce this battery, battery affordably, which they say they can, and they should be believed because they are one of the biggest battery companies in the world, then this is quite a scary proposition for some of the competition. It's worth keeping in mind that CALB is one of the world's leading manufacturers of lithium iron phosphate batteries. That's what they specialize in. And lithium iron phosphate batteries are always less energy dense than nickel-based chemistry batteries, which is what Tesla used in the 4680 cylindrical cell. CALB have just unveiled a new battery. It uses a U-type structure. They unveiled the battery recently at the China EV100 forum event, and they say it is a design based on the company's one-stop minimalist design concept. Basically, a very efficient, affordable way to mass manufacture high energy density batteries. The battery is based on structural and chemical innovations, say cnavpost.com. Developed by CALB in-house, the industry's U-type structure, according to the article, features incredible energy density. And it allows the battery to reduce the resistance of structural components by 50%, achieving an energy density of 300 watts per kilo, which would be industry leading if they can mass manufacture it. That is true. Apparently, it will support fast charging of more than 6C, in, all, in other words, more than 350 kilowatt fast charging, achieving a massive increase in performance compared to traditional cylindrical batteries, according to the company. Now, the C refers to the battery's charge multiplier, says so CNF Post. 6C means the battery could theoretically be fully charged in only 10 minutes or one sixth of an hour. 10 minutes would mean speeds of around about 500 kilowatt. This is quite incredible fast charging speed, but I should say that Huawei is now currently working on fast chargers that can charge EVs in China at a 500 to 600 kilowatt speed. Apparently they have some that rate at 600 kilowatts. That's just mind blowing. We've made a disruptive innovation to the structure of the cylindrical battery by introducing the U-type structure CALB Vice President said, a disruptive innovation to the type of battery, to the cylindrical battery. Now, is could this change the entire industry? No, absolutely not. The industry can't just change overnight because they're trying to disrupt it. But can CALB steal some of BYD and CATL's customers? Yes, absolutely. That's what they're aiming to do here. In fact, not just aiming to steal their customers, they want to steal customers like General Motors' partner, LG Chem, or Ford's partner, SK Innovation, or take customers away from Volkswagen and their battery partner, which is called Goshan High Tech. Now, this tabless battery structure solves some of the current path problems in batteries. Treating the cell's shell as a conductive component results in a relatively long path for the current to flow through because the shell is steel and steel does not conduct well. CALB's structural innovation reduces the current flow path by 70% relative to tabless cells, reducing structural resistance by 50% and improving space utilization by 3%. The company said that in addition to the performance improvement of the cells, the U-type structure also helps to improve manufacturing efficiency. Compared with the tabless technology, the number of welding machines in the production line of the battery is 70% less. That's a huge advantage. In theory, CALB could potentially produce these batteries at half the cost of some of its competitors. So what chemistry will these batteries actually be? Well, they'll be a high nickel chemistry, which is similar to what Tesla will use. But of course, I believe but of course, 
they will have to use a high manganese content to decrease the amount of lithium in the battery to make them more affordable. Now today, CALB hold around 10% of China's lithium ternary battery production. In other words, nickel-based battery production in China, which is not lithium ion phosphate based. This means that CALB are the second largest producer of this type of battery in China. Now it's worth noting that CALB are about to go public. So this information could potentially affect the amount of money they're able to raise from their public listing. Basically CALB are after more capital and this capital raise will fund a speedy expansion of its production bases across China. And CALB want to become the third largest battery manufacturer in the world. Now they know that they're a fair way off BYD and, and, CAL and CATL, but they're being aggressive here. Now this aggressiveness has had a few issues. Rapid scaling comes with pressure. Last year, CATL filed an intellectual property infringement suit against CALB and asked its rival to pay around 190 million yen for economic losses and expenses incurred, later raising the compensation amount to half a billion yen. CALB said the claims are lacking in merit and is contesting them. They're in court right now. Now currently CALB is the seventh largest battery manufacturer in the world and it controls 3.4% global market share. Of course, if this battery technology is real, if they can really make these batteries at this price with this kind of energy density, 300 watts per kilo, and the batteries are capable of lasting for a long time with 500 kilowatt charging speeds, then yeah, they absolutely can improve their market share massively. Do you think they're real? Do you think they can do it? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.